Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Today I did a wearable purple look that um, is really great for work or just for whenever. Um, I think that with purples, I mean to me I love purples so they're, they're easy to wear for me. But I think that if you're a little hesitant to wear them, it's best to start off with more cool tone purples. I think that those tend to work better on, a, on most people. Um, purples that are more... Uh, let me explain, like gray or like dusty looking purples. Um, I guess that's how you ex explain it. Um, so yeah, I really think that, you know, with these wearable looks, I think that any colors can be wearable. Um, I just think that, you know, this will really help you out, especially if you're looking for something colorful to wear to work, but you don't want to look overdone. Um, or if, you know, work aside, whatever, you're just getting used to wearing colors and you don't want to go, f you know, you don't want to do these, you know, really bright looks to start off. So, so hopefully you'll try it out and this is helpful for you and if you want to see how to do it, keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I have taken Mauvism paint and just smeared just a little bit on my lid and I'm going to blend it with a 217 brush. Mauvism paint looks like this. And you don't want to apply too much. Just a little bit of paint goes a long way. And I'm just bringing it up into the crease. You don't want to go too high with the color. And if you applied the right amount, it should be getting pretty thin by this point. So it should just blend out really nicely. I'm going to take Poison Pen Eyeshadow by MAC. And I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk Large Flat Brush. And I'm patting it onto that outer half of my lid. Now I'm going to take Lace Sparkle Mineralized Eyeshadow by Coastal Scents. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It reminds me so much of Naked Pigment by MAC. Um, I think it's just the consistency that reminds me of it so much. I cannot find my brush. Where have you gone? Here it is. My 242 brush by MAC. Alright, so I've got it into my brush and I'm just going to pat it all over my lid, even over that poison pen color. But I'm not going all the way out. Just kind of blends it really nicely. If you hadn't have applied that poison pen color, this color might look a little flat. And a little too bright. Um, like I said, this reminds me of Naked Pigment by MAC, except it's got more of a lilac um, undertone to it. This also works really well with pinks. This is just a really gorgeous color. Alright, so I've patted that on, and I'm just going to take a little bit and put it right there in that inner part of my tear duct. For a look like this, you don't want to do anything too crazy under the eye. Alright, then for the outer corner, I'm going to do something a little different. You can make that just, you know, typical wedge shape like I do. Um, or, if you want it to look a little more defined like this side, whoa, there you go, um, you can do a more defined outer corner. And I'm going to take Sketch Eyeshadow. This is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows. It works well with so many different colors. It works great with pinks. It works great, you know, if you use it with pinks, it looks pink. If you use it with purple, it looks purple. If you use it with browns, it looks brown. It's just the perfect color. And I'm using this small eyeshader brush from Ulta. And I'm applying it just as I you know, wood my outer darkest color, sticking close to the lash line on the outer corner of the eye. And then as I bring it up, I'm going to almost make like a curved shape. That's why I use this smaller brush so that I could get a little bit more precision. Now, if you don't want to do this and you want a more blended look, that's fine. But you could make this shape first and then blend it out. Or you could just make the little wedge. And then when you get your little corner 
made when you get to the crease just kind of whatever's left on the brush use that to blend that color inward a little bit and that just creates a really pretty flattering outer shape you can keep working with it until you get it just how you want it or like I said if you don't want it to look so defined um, you can blend it out much more and you can just take your brush and blend upward just to kind of um, soften this that outer color and it just kind of blends it out a little bit more alright so for the liner I just kept it really simple I used Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in zero and I just applied a really thin liner along the top lashes I did not line my water lines or apply any below I just wanted to keep it really really um, simple and then I used my CoverGirl Lash Blast in very black. Um, on my cheeks, I'm wearing well-dressed blush. And on my lips, I just have on clear gloss. I didn't really do anything special with that. So hopefully you guys will try this out. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.